In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a colorful business card design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added one colorful image at the top and then you can add your own uh, name and profession. And below you can add the contact details, email address, the city and the website details. And you can see here, this is the area which will go into the cutting. So I've just put in this marquee selection. You can see here, so this is the front side of the card and this is the back side of the card so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide then go to design and i'm going to set the slide area for that go to slide size select custom slide size from the drop down list select custom and the width and the height i'm going to give as 3.75 inches and 2.25 inches the height and the width of the business card will be 3.5 and 2 inches so i'm just going to take it the same thing 3.75 2.25 which including the cutting area so here the orientation let it be landscape and click ok it will ask you two options so just select any of this and then i have added a two rectangles here you can see here this is the cutting area where uh, basically all our design elements should be within this green box you can see here this is this one only if it is going above that one that will go into the the cutting part now i'm going to add rectangle for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and then you can send to back so that you know that how much area it's going to retain and how much area is going to cut and let me just make it somewhat bigger then i'm going to insert the image which i have downloaded from the net for that right mouse click go to format shapes and under fill select picture or texture fill click on insert and from file you have to select the image which you have downloaded from the internet so in this case i have downloaded the low poly uh design from the net so let me just select that particular file so i have selected this image which i have downloaded and then i'm going to untick this one so this looks uh, very squeezed so what i'm going to do i'm going to just increase the offside bottom you can see here i can just increase it and from top also i can increase something like this you can see here and if you want you can increase from uh, left as well as from right also then i'm going to add one more uh, rectangle at the bottom you can see here again shape outline make it no outline and shape and then send this to back and this color i'm going to select some dark colors maybe you can just select any color from here you can see here you can select blue also if you want to get more darker you can just go to more colors and increase the you can see here you can make something darker here then i'm just going to add uh, some uh, the icons and some text so let me just add the name here first go to insert text box i will just say your name i'm just going to give and choose any font of your choice i'm going to select century gothic and here only one site one name i'm just going to make it a bold you can see here and i'm just going to put it in center let it be in center something like this you can see here center align and if you want you can just reduce the size of the font or you can keep it as it is maybe i'll just reduce a little bit and press ctrl d to duplicate and here you can add your profession you can add your profession here you can see here again reduce the size again make sure that it is center aligned you can see here and then here i'm going to add the some icons for the telephone address mobile all those things so make sure that there is no gap here so otherwise it looks very bad then go to insert shapes select the rectangles draw the rectangle rounded corner you can see here you can get hold the shift key so that you get a perfect square shape shape outline make it no outline 
uh, you can choose any color uh, but uh, preferably I'm going to use any color which is here available on this particular image so I'm going to shape fill using the eyedropper I can just select any color of my choice which is available here press ctrl D I'm going to add a different color uh, say that I'm going to use this purple color and then I'm going to duplicate this I'm going to add two more here with some different color again let me just pick some color maybe green and you can choose some other color maybe this color so i've added four different colors uh, now maybe it is a, a contact number your mobile number or email address your location your website details or social media accounts or whatever you want you can just add it if you have the icons uh, then you can add it or you can go to insert click on icons if you don't have this particular feature this is available only in this uh, in the new version if you're using the older version then you cannot use this icon so in that case i have provided uh, free icons uh, in my previous tutorials you can just uh, go and have a look into this so i'm just going to scroll down and you can see here i'm just going to select one of this one the other one is this then i'm just going to scroll it and then let me just select something which is uh, say this one and maybe this one and click insert you can see here and make the size maybe as point uh, two only i believe so point two only and still the point two is bigger i feel you can see here i can just select this maybe again i'm going to reduce the size further maybe point one only or point one five you can see here so again align it properly and then here it's very easy you can just add all the details so now i'm going to add the text go to insert text box and i'm just going to select this reduce the font size maybe to uh, eight make it white font and then you can just add uh, your mobile number or the contact number you can see here if you want you can reduce further the size press ctrl d then you can add your email address you can just you can see here then you can add the your office address and then your website I'll just put so you can see here so this is the front part which is uh, done now it's easy for us to make the the back design also and one more thing I would like to add here is go to insert shapes, select a small uh, rectangle, draw a small rectangle which is covering the, the green box only. Shape outline, make it no outline and then you can give a gradient fill. So gradient fill, I'm going to select linear and then I can just select any of this one. So four stop, one stop, I'm going to select and I'm going to use this color the second stop i'm going to use uh, this color you can see your third stop i'm going to use this color and the fourth stop i'm going to use this color so it looks something like this so basically when it cuts so this area won't be visible so it looks very beautiful now to do the back side design so let me just right mouse click duplicate it then i'm just going to delete all this information you can see here let me just delete this also all those things has to be deleted then i'm going to reduce this size you can see here maybe this much and then i'm going to increase it select this one and again you can go here to the offset and then you can increase it you can see here so that it looks perfect you can see something like this you can do it and then here we are going to add the company name and the slogan 
so add the company logo for in this case i'm just going to insert shapes i'm just going to select this shape you can see here and shape outline make it white and shape fill i'm not going to say no i'm going to say no fill so here this is the area where you can add the logo and go to insert text box you can make your company name here just add the company name again i'm going to select the same font you can see here white center align and make sure it is aligned center and if you have any uh, slogan or tagline you can just add it here so let me just bring it somewhat down so this is the front side of the business card and this is the the back side of the business card That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe to PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.